Hey guys, so today is going to be my first 2014 Christmas how-to. Um, we're going to just be making a centerpiece today and you can use this like on your coffee table or for your dining room table or pretty much anywhere. I mean, um, it's it can be budget friendly, but I got some expensive stuff last year, but it was on sale. So the first thing I got is this table runner and I saw it like numerous times. It's just three snowflakes. But what my problem was is when I went to put it on this table, it's a little bit too long. It just hangs over the side and it didn't look very good at all. So since they're all the same size, all I did was took this and you just line up two of the snowflakes and then just center it in the table. Now, you have to make sure that this is centered because let me just tell you, this is a little bit hard to move once you get it all put together. So, this is the base. The next thing is I have two of these candles. I have a small one and then I have one that's a little bit bigger. Um, these are Wolford lamps, but you know what you could probably do? Um, like at Dollar Tree or Walmart, they have those jars that are like this size and all you have to do is put water in them. And then what I would do is just like get a floating candle or something. But since this isn't exactly like the best platform, I'm actually going to get these things, which these are kind of like, I don't even know. I'm bad with metal. So this is like brass or something. Um, they're metal, they're heavy, so we're going to set these underneath here, just so it kind of like, this weighs a lot more than this does, so that's going to hold it in place. And then I have a smaller one also that goes with this one. So after we get that done, make sure everything looks good. All right, so now pretty much I have these two branches. I put them a little too far away. Okay, I have these two branches and I got these at Hobby Lobby. I seriously think I spent like a dollar for each of these. So um, I'm just gonna set one in front of here and then I'm gonna set the other one across this way. Now, since this candle is a little bit taller, um, you can kind of fluff this up a little bit more. But this one, I'm gonna keep it kind of low so you can see the candle, but when we get to this point, we have all these sticks and junk that's in the way here. So, here's my solution for that. Um, I made a bow. Now this is probably, I don't know, maybe like seven inches wide, but it's got seven loops. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just sit that, that'll cover all the junk there. And then for these tails, I'm just going to like weave them in and out of here a little bit kind of bring it around so you have red and green and then there's one more so again I'm gonna kind of keep this down so you can see the flame in this candle but that looks a little too plain for me so I got these ice branches last year and they came in like a strand of I think it was like six foot um, these are just a couple of the sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and just shove them in here. Now, this doesn't always go as planned. So really shove this in here. Just don't knock over the candle. So that just kind of adds some sparkle, especially whenever these candles are on. And then I'm just going to do the same with the other side here. And just fix it up. All right, so now you're probably wondering what we're gonna do with this big empty space here. Well, I got this little candle holder and this is kind of cool. It's got this little thing in here so you can light it and then just drop it right in there. So that'll fill this empty space here. And then here's the best part, this reindeer. Now this is acrylic, this isn't glass but it's got these little jingle bells on it and it's really cute. Um, I did colorful Christmas this year 
but I used a lot of crystal to kind of balance it out. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to sit this down in here. And I tried this before putting the reindeer down and then just kind of placing the bow, but that didn't work very well. So then you just kind of adjust it. Now to bring in some things that were colorful Christmas, um, I got these trees last year. I got two of them and I think these were like 20 bucks or something, but I waited until the end of the season because I can't imagine why nobody wanted this stuff. But I think I ended up paying like a dollar or something for these. So I'm just going to set one on this side and then one over here, maybe. And there you go. It's all finished. So um, I'll light the candles and then I'll get you a close up view. So thanks for watching and Merry Merry Christmas. Bye.